We're now joined on the Sports Mix by Jefferson Football Head Coach Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team improves to 3-3 three and three overall after last week getting a 48-14 win against South Hagerstown. Overall, what were your thoughts about that game? Uh, I think I thought we started a little slow. I thought we um, came out a little lethargic in the game. Um, you know, we made some mistakes, had a turnover. Um, their game plan was to keep our offense off the field, which they, they did a good job of doing with the turnover that we had because we've roughly only had one possession in the whole first half offensively. Um, so with only having one offensive possession to go into halftime, tie 14-14, you know, you kind of, you know, you just kind of go ahead and just smile as you, you escape one right there in the first half. Um, it could have been worse. Um, so, you know, our goal now this week is not to come out lethargic, uh, our energy, uh, ready to play. Yeah, uh, Coach, you know, your team though did do some good things, obviously, in the game. Tony Allen had a kickoff return touchdown. Uh, just from reading the article, it looks like Tayshawn Roper had a big game after dealing with an injury. So um, to see that spark, though, first of all, in special teams from Allen, uh, what that do for your team down 14 nothing at that point? Uh, well, we were, we were down 14 nothing. I think it came in first. Um, Demarius Wallace returned the kickoff first. Hit the first kickoff return, and then Tony opened up right out of half with a kickoff return, uh, which actually put us up 21-14. Um, to see special teams spark us a little bit when we when we really hadn't had any anything going offensively for us because we really hadn't been on the field, uh, it helps a lot. You know, when you got guys – um, we're back to returning kicks. We're all dynamic guys. We can touch the ball and go at any time. Um, so we have several guys back there. We have, you know, we have Tayshawn who's back there. Demarius Wallace is back there. Tony Allen's on the field doing kickoff return just in case you want to kick it short. And so uh, Jackson Rockwell is also on there just in case you want to kick it short. So we have guys on the kickoff return who can actually get the ball and take it, stretch it to the other side of the field, give us a good, good position, or take it the whole distance. Um, so it's always good to have those those kind of guys on the field who at any point in time can go from to 100 real quick for you, take things zero to 100 real quick for you. In your mind, what does it show just about your team getting that slow start but being able to overcome it within the game and still break away for a huge win? Um, just, you know, still saying that, you know, you can still fight through. They can, they're still fighting through some adversity. Learning to fight through adversity, they did a good job again fighting through the adversity, um, sticking with it, staying within themselves, not letting them get out of care, not getting out of character, not letting the game get away from them. Just being patient and understanding that sooner or later, you know, we're going to get our opportunities. And when we get our opportunities, don't don't squander them. I mean, once we got our opportunities, we made the most of them. Um, so you know, them at at this point in time of the year goes well when we start to see. Hopefully, when we when we get down the road and it gets closer to, you know, playoff time um, and seeing seeing people uh, in the playoffs, you never know what's going to happen because you, you're going to see an opponent pretty much sometimes you haven't seen, you don't know, don't know anything about. So, you know, uh, they could actually surprise you, jump out on you. Uh, you got to keep your wits about you and not panic in those in those situations. So I thought they did a good job of not panicking, keeping their, keeping their wits about them and just being patient, just waiting for the game to come back to them, which it did. Coach, as the season goes on and as the game kind of went on as well the other night, you you mentioned it. You have a lot of different guys that can make big plays for you, and you're starting to see that not only on special teams but with your offense as well, uh, as well as your tight end, Leland Benner, uh, getting involved. <laughs> so uh, just uh, what what have you seen from your offense in terms of all the weapons that you've, you've, you've had stepping up? Uh, you know, we just – just you know, just giving people different looks. You know, so in, uh, just because we always run a tight end on the field, they seen us throw the ball to him. So now, hey, wait a minute, they'll throw the ball to this guy. So you know, and he can catch the ball, and he can he can do things with the ball. So um, you know, as we get deeper into the season, uh, we gotta you know we get more creative in the playbook and open up the playbook a little bit more as the kids get. Uh, start to get real more adapt to what we're doing and they start to get more comfortable in what we're doing, uh, we can add more wrinkles into the offense. And uh, that's one of the wrinkles that we just added was, you know, getting the ball to the tight end, uh, showing that we will throw the ball to, to that young man and 
he can catch it and he can run with it. So, um, you know, that's what that that's what that does. It helps gives you it gives us a double edged sword. You know, you got all these different guys who are weapons that you can use, but then once again, one ball on the field, only one of them can get it at a time, and only one, only two people touch the ball every play. It's a center and a quarterback. So, you know, then now you got to make it. Now you got to find a way to make sure kids stay happy, and you know they don't get selfish and. So it's not all about it doesn't it doesn't become all about them. It becomes all still stays about the team and the team getting success and the team winning. And I think they've done a good job of doing that so far. I think the kids have done a great job of of staying staying with the game plan. And if if you know if Roper's having a great game, we got I got receivers on the field telling me I'm on the sideline, keep feeding, coach. He's having a good game. So when you hear that out your receivers, you know it makes you feel good because they're not crying for the ball. Or wanting the ball or being selfish. They want the team to have success. And it's a good as a coach. Coach Hunter, this week you guys take on Millbrook. What have you seen from the Pioneers so far? Uh, you know, they are pretty much I mean, they're they're good up front. They have good backs, uh, good skill positions. Uh, they run that they run the single wing, so a lot of misdirection a lot of different things. They're going to, you know, go in there foot to foot and just try to pound it, try to pound it. They're going to three yards in a cloud of dust, and then maybe they'll break one. Or, you know, they'll get you going one way. They'll do false reads with pulls. So um, defensively, we got to stay. You know, we got to stay in our gaps, be gap sound. Football, we can't just run off and just go different places. We got to stay gap sound. Um, defensively, they're going to they're going to show us something that. Something that we, I mean, we've already seen it before. It's the same. It's a full, pretty much a four-three defense, two high safety, um, almost almost the same exact defense that we saw against Sharanda earlier in the year. So I mean, it's nothing we haven't seen. Um, we just got to make sure we get it blocked up. Uh, so I mean, I mean, it's Sharanda. I mean, I mean, it's not Sharanda. It's Millbrook. I mean, we've been playing them for since I've been coaching. I mean, they've changed the offense up, but you know, same coach. Um, they're going to be a good football program. They're going to be a tough out. Um, they're going to come in here ready to go. You know, they're fighting for their, their playoff hopes too, Virginia. So it's going to be a tough out on Friday night. Hopefully we can get it done. Coach, when you go up against a run first team, what are some of those challenges and how do you prepare the kids for that? Uh, um, once again, like I said, assignment, staying gap controlled, making sure you're in the gap. And then when you get there, make sure we tackle. Uh, you got to tackle, and then we got to gang tackle. So everybody's got to get to the football and gang tackle. Uh, you want to put you want to put teams um, such as a, a Millbrook, who last week didn't throw the ball one time. You want situations where they're uncomfortable. So you want to put them in situations where you you make them have to throw the ball. Uh, so I mean, I'm pretty sure that'd be our our game plan. Is we always want to stay ahead of the sticks. We want to keep them behind the stick. On the best we can. Uh, that way, we can get them off the field, get our offense on the field, and they can't eat the clock up on us. We can get more possessions. The longer they stay on the field, the less possessions we'll have offensively. So we just got to stay assignment, assignment football, gap control football, and then tackle when we get there and keep them behind the sticks. All righty, Coach Hunter. Any other thoughts about this week's matchup? If not, we'll get to the uh, last fun question. Uh, let's get to the fun question. I want to see what it is this week. All right, this week it is you get to pick one person dead or alive to meet. Who would it be and why? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Didn't expect that. No, I did not expect that. I don't know. I mean, there's so many people I would like to meet. I just really don't. Hmm. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna go ahead and say Martin Luther King Jr. just to see to talk to him about um what his what his what his true goal and dream was and what he would think about um where we are today and get that conversation with him. I think that's a great answer. Yeah. So I like that choice. Thank you, Coach. No problem. <laughs> so, um, I mean, yeah, that's what that's what I would pick. All right, sounds good. Thank you All for right. the time this week, Coach. Best of luck Friday. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.